Hello everyone, it is me Bradley here back again just for a quick pretty much unscripted talk about how TikTok has probably just ruined their chan their chances of not getting in big trouble recently. And honestly, it's really funny. So for those who have I guess been under a rock for a while, for like a lot for like maybe uh, two years, TikTok has been has pretty much always been in hot and in some state of hot water for a number of reasons. For one thing, they have thing they've had there's been tons of like concern raised about the raids raised about their about the privacy on the see uh, of your of users' data on the app, which is kind of especially a big concern since the app is owned by China. And for those who aren't and if you aren't aware, here not. <clears throat> Aside from the fact that that China has been spying on the U.S., China also has rules which basically mean that the government can call up a company and effectively mandate that they hand over om almost all of like the the data like they have stored on their on the cons custom on consumers if they really want to. I don't remember the name of like the specific clause for that, but I'll. I'll link it in the description if I can find them, and that is quite. And of course, they, and that is quite a big concern. There, there's, of course, there's been a, a bunch of other things aside from that. The app has, has is extremely po really popular among you, among generally young younger like like consumers and also apparently a lot of fair, very very old people there have been and in that case a lot of people have been been cons concerned about the app being addictive due to the way <clears throat> which to agree all social media apps are somewhat designed to do this <clears throat> honestly it's why why still on the space battles message board that that's Honestly, kind of, kind of nice because it was designed in like the early 2000s, and the, and the layout isn't uh, isn't constantly har constantly farming you for like dopamine with the, uh, with it, infinite, with an infinite scroll setup, and <laughs> yeah, you, you you get the idea. But but TikTok has TikTok is generally considered to be to be one of the worst in this regard. And a, and a very big thing of TikTok is this, not to, is a mixture of misinformation, especially regarding to politics that always that tends to go viral there all the time. <clears throat> Since the the website, of course, the website has basically zero like like fact checking at all, and the moderation is moderation is not great. The <clears throat> the and the way that the short term and the like the short form videos is a pretty act where you'll just like constantly be seeing those so be like swiping through those over and over again that that tends to be a very good mech be good like <clears throat> sort of mechas and if you're just like like delivering like a lot of clipped out of clipped out of context misleading or just plain fake content because all of those are short. You just have to get like enough of. You just have to get like enough in the video. You just have to get like enough of a statement in the video that it like fits a time frame. And even if it's like a very misleading thing that you've clipped, clipped out from a greater context, then people are people are not going to notice at all. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> and oh, what else was I? What else? There's something else about it. Hmm. I'll, I'll come back to it if I remember it. And uh, another another thing there is just the amount of so is that there's been a lot of concern about just general anti-social stuff that's on there. Like there's a lot of stuff about there's I think people mentioned like all these uh, stupid TikTok challenges. I remember hearing a lot about like the devious slicks challenges, where it was like telling people to, like steal stuff from schools <clears throat> and. And of course, I always have a soft spot for the really, really horrible, like, 
financial advice there where a lot of it is, a lot of it is basically just telling people how to like commit tax fraud in ways that are not actually like an actually like secret and stuff and stuff that you will 100% get caught for and you will get trouble in do not do not cheat on your taxes with advice that someone on TikTok gave you <clears throat> And a big thing, thing that thing about this is that you is that TikTok talks moderation standards vary a lot based on on where it is. People have pointed out that in China, where the app is based out 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 of TikTok, is a lot more vigilant in scrubbing anti-social social stuff stuff from it. Granted, again, a bunch of it is in it is it is. When in China, you also have to have to censor a lot of political stuff, but it does so that they can at least keep the the videos of people stealing stuff on the down low in China. In China, so why can't they do it here? And the, so there's a lot of kind of debate about what to be specifically should be done with this. I think previously there was one idea. For a bill that would more or less let's ban that would specifically ban it and and could also ban theoretically a lot of stuff. Oh well, I believe I remember correctly it was the Earn It Act and that and and ba- and among, among other things it had a very very broad definition of like of like com- Social media stuff con- controlled by a hostile entity in the United States. I can't remember it specifically, but basically there was a extremely broad category of of what stuff could be considered like like wor- worthy of being banned in that bill, and so that bill ended up dying. And apparently now there's like a new bill bill go- going on, which. It would not outright ban the company, but it would it it would give them a cho- the uh, them a choice between either divesting it like from Chinese ownership within a certain time period, or it would be banned. And I guess you can argue whether or not that counts as a ban. Does that counts as a ban? It. Because yeah, it's not saying they don't have to ban it, but it is forcing the. So it would be forcing like the current owners to sell it if they don't want to lose to sell it. Hmm. And so I have been kind of on the fence by this for a while, like ex- excluding the really stupid stuff that would have just that would that would have had a lot of like oh of like overreach. There is, I guess, there is a kind of a reasonable debate about what to be done with like a social media app like this that has like a huge amount of of reads. And so now that we're going into this bill, I was, I hadn't heard much about it, and I was kind of just confused, just wondering. And so that's when the new stuff comes in. So, as you, so as you can. So as we've just stated, <clears throat> Congress is cur- Congress was a few days ago debate sort of like debating on how you know, on the on how to lay out this bill, and and you might be wondering what it what exactly is TikTok thinking about it about this? What are they going to do? Well, <clears throat> apparently, I think that it started just like yesterday. TikTok decided what their move was going to be, and apparently they decided to send messages to basically everyone who opened the app, telling them not to, telling them to specifically call their congressman and about this. And I mean that literally. Apparently, if you were to open in the app, there was at least a chance that you would get the this pop-up messages that said specifically this. <clears throat> At the title of the top, stop a, a TikTok shutdown. Congress is planning a total ban of TikTok. 
Speak up now, before your government strips 170 million Americans of their constitutional right to free expression. This will damage millions of businesses, destroy the livelihoods of countless creators around the, across the country, and deny art, artists an audience. Let Congress know what TikTok means to you and tell them to vote no. And at the bottom of the message, it has a, has a button with the words call now and the phone icon. And if you click call now, a prompt o opens up. It asks you to enter your zip code to find local representatives in your area. And once you do, and once you have given your zip code to TikTok, it will so send like a phone num It will show you like the phone number of your local, of a local representative, and and, and tell it to, and gives it, so you some text telling you to call them and tell them to stop a TikTok shutdown. Well. Now, I should note, of course, that this message does not actually specify what the bill is at all, at all but but it's quite obvious what, yes, what they're referring to, given what the timing is. And so, and so, what, apparently, oh, they have been getting, a, people have been getting a lot of calls from this. <clears throat> Let me... I'm just going to go back to the text I had here. Yep. <clears throat> so I'm seeing that... So, I'm, so, I've, so as I've read, appar a hu apparently a huge number of like house, house offices have been reporting like all over that they've been... <clears throat> that their offices have been... That their offices have been getting... I've just been getting constant calls from people, <clears throat> from people who who saw this message. And if you, <clears throat> and let me find one here. I'm <clears throat> so court, so once so uh, free from CNN business. The <clears throat> the call to action included a link prompting users to dial their members of Congress and express their opposition to the bill. Multiple congressional staffers told CNN Thursday that House offices are being flooded with calls, in some cases in the hundreds, amid the campaign. Many of these calls appear to be coming from teenagers and the elderly, some of who appear, seem to be confused about why they are exactly calling or why TikTok might be at risk, one GOP aides told CNN. And the ant and that's just not as an antidote. It de and the thing is, from what I've seen, it appears that that most people have actually been confirming that the majority of calls are from teen are from teenagers, or in some cases, or as another or apparently, Lee even younger than that. So this is a tweet from Lisa Des Des Lisa D E S J A R D I N D I N S. I'll, I'll pronounce it. <clears throat> TikTok middle school outrage. Just had an out house staff suffer say that most of the call TikTok calls they get are from children who sound like they are 10 to 12 years old. On one of them, as the girl spoke, a very clear school bell rang in the background. But on a more serious note, the bombardment is backfiring. Representative Chiproy and Kat Kamek who are ardent civil liberties slash keep government out people, told me this glaringly shows a problem, and it undermines TikTok's argument that this doesn't keep location data on slash track users. Okay, and let's and before the next week, and before we read the next week, I just point out that there is the house vote schedule today, at like this is th this is. And this house vote happened after, like, the start of this campaign. So, who wants to predict how the... So, I want, so let's just ask. How do you predict that the house vote goes? Because, remember, this was... In the last time someone tried to make a bill for banning TikTok, it was somewhat, somewhat controversial. So, so, just take it... Just make a prediction real quick. Uh, you, you got it? Okay, so here's the next tweet. 
ICM, ICYMI, Congress has reacted strongly. House e Electro ENC passed the TikTok bill 50 to 0, which is extraordinary. And they said they had the TikTok response link, but this reporter linked the wrong tweet. So uh, I'll figure out where I'll find that in a little bit. <clears throat> and so, and from and I've heard like a and honestly the part about and here's the thing. So I guess yeah, a bunch of people of like of like teenagers. There's calling in from they're literally in class probably doesn't sound like very convincing, but you know, but but hey, that's not the only thing that's been happening. Apparently, a lot of members of Congress, at least some members of Congress, have been getting death threats. <clears throat> Here's a tweet from Matthew Foley: TikTok caller friending to assassinate a member of Congress. We had a a voicemail from last night. Where the caller said, "I'll kill you if you don't, don't give me TikTok." <laughs> uh, so, so apparently now, and he mentioned here that more assassination threats, threats confirmed. A dozen House office tells, offices tell me that they have had nearly a dozen death threats issued against the members of Congress by TikTok U.S. users. Hmm. Looks. That def that's definitely going to get people po get them not to vote. Great call for there, TikTok. <sighs> but honestly, I uh, so I think I'm that this is a good juncture to put in my own thoughts. And my thought is this is probably one of the dumbest moves possible in this situation. Like seriously, think like I I'm really wonder. I'm kind of pretty sure that, like, I've heard people asking, like, who did TikTok hire to plan this? This, and honestly, I think that they didn't hire anyone. This much, this because anyone who had any PR experience would know, and uh, would know why this is a bad idea. Like, let's be, like, let's, like, we, know, like, this is the f thing. TikTok is under fire here because one. People are worried about them interfere, interfering with U.S. Po politics, but as a when be, being used as such by China. Two people are worried about the influence that they that they might be having on t on teenagers, young adults, and the, the elderly, and just generally low information. And generally, people who are just not really informed about too much about politics and just spend a lot of time consuming this content. Free people are worried about TikTok collecting user data, and so what do they do? They release a they release a they basically make a put a pop up ad, ad into every free you into every user's like feed that's specifically telling them to do to message their congressman for a specific thick issue and. Tells them and tells them to ent give TikTok their zip code, <clears throat> and and then when the and then uh, as as pretty much everyone pr pr would predict, the majority of calls are going in that they're getting are from from teenagers, teenagers, people who aren't even teenagers and and elderly early like users this this what is actually supposed this supposed to do this is just confirming what everyone who is worried about tiktok has said about tiktok <clears throat> and 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 let and it and if and i guess you can't 100% can connect like the the vote to the to the vote to this like strategy because again the bill that that's being submitted for like presented for like banning TikTok is not the same as like once been done previously, but it very clearly has not worked, and this is and it's effectively and honestly, I I have been I've stated that I was on the fence for this, but after like this move, 
Honestly, I am just going. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on side ban TikTok now. Like this is, this is, just blatant attempts to like, you interfere with like you, just to like see what they can do with their with their audience and so like bracket stuff with politics and, and, no, this is this is unacceptable. That and. The app, they need, this app should not be, this app should have, like, more restrictions. It should not be, be kept in just the hands of whoever thought this was, which was even a good idea. They should not be in control, they should not be in control of an app that has this many users and has this much influence. And, I, I know that's, that's not necessarily a unique opinion, but... At this point, I'm I'm not I'm okay not being unique. I'm okay to be on side side obvious stupid stuff is stupid. This and this app needs this app should either be be banned or it should be sold to like a a new shareholders who aren't connected with with the CCP. And really, I think that's all that I, that I've got to say for this video. Uh. Thank you for watch. Thank you for watching, and maybe I'll make more if there's any more that comes out about this story. See you later.